Kira, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> Boy, it's getting ugly right now for T.O. Fimo. It's getting ugly. Dante's Box Nation, what's going on, guys? So yesterday, T.O. Fimo, he finally announced his next opponent will be George Cambosis. After, of course, going back and forth, telling fans that he will be fighting Devin Haney next. When T.O. made this announcement, or maybe I should say even before this announcement, because right after T.O. Fimo did the uh, Tyson show, he told Mike Tyson, I will be fighting Devin Haney because Tyson told him. He said, no, no, no. He should be next. Tyson told T.O. Devin should be next. He said that because T.O. Fimo had hinted that George Cambosis might be next. So Mike Tyson pushed so hard for a T.O. versus Devin Haney fight that eventually T.O. said, I am going to fight him. He told Mike Tyson to his face, we are going to fight Devin Haney basically implying that he was going to fight him next. Soon as he left that show, he started to do interviews and telling people the Devin Haney fight ain't going to happen. I don't care what people say. I'm not fighting Devin Haney. It's going to be George Cambosis. So after T.O. Fimo announced Cambosis as his next opponent, he received so much backlash by fans on social media that he decided to put out a video where the caption reads, pass me the crown, someone passes him a duck, he puts it on his head as if he's been crowned as the new duck king. So in other words, T.O. is saying to the fans, okay, you guys keep calling me a duck. Well, I'm gonna show you I'm the real duck king. And that right there, guys, is the power of social media. It's clear that this wasn't a well thought out plan by T.O. Fimo Lopez. But this also tells you that old media, they're failing at protecting Teofimo Lopez. Because real boxing fans, they're not buying this undisputed talk so I could fight whoever I want. Boxing fans, real boxing fans, they want to see the best fights. Only when it comes to old media politics do they try to protect someone, but they forget real boxing fans are going to rebel. And that's what's happening right now. I told you guys, man, pressure is something else. And there's been so much pressure. There's been so much backlash when it comes to Teofimo Lopez fighting Devin Haney or not fighting him. And now you see Teofimo dancing with a duck crown on his head. You know, guys, what makes the situation worse for Teo is when he announced that George Cambosis is next, he never even said that Devin Haney will be after that. He keeps trashing Devin Haney in his interviews but he won't say that he's going to fight Devin Haney, which is once again why boxing fans are so frustrated with Teo right now. You know, you often hear champions say it's easier to win the title than it is to remain the champion and defend your belts. You see, the truth is, and the actual facts are, neither Devin Haney or Teo Fimo are undisputed champions because neither one of them have all four belts. But Devin Haney is the only one that is acting like a true undisputed champion because he wants all of the smoke. You see, for Devin Haney, he never cared who Teofimo fought because the truth is Devin was calling out Teofimo. He was calling out Ryan Garcia before they fought anyone. He wanted to fight them because they were undefeated like him because they all had the same dream that he had which is to be the best fighter in the world. He wanted to eliminate them early. This is what true champions do. You have to ask yourself, if Devin Haney always wanted to fight T.O., before T.O. fought Loma, before he beat Richard Comey, Devin wanted him before all of that. That clip that I play uh, in the beginning of this video where Devin Haney walks up on T.O. and he calls him out to his face, man to man, Guys, that was before T.O. beat Loma, before he beat Richard Comey. So what does that say about the type of fighter that Devin is and the type of fighter that T.O. is? 
So you can no longer use the excuse, well, who did Devin fight? Because Devin was going to fight Tio regardless of who he fought. Just because he was undefeated. Same thing with Ryan Garcia. Devin wanted to fight Ryan Garcia earlier on. And you know what Ryan Garcia said, which is why you got to give him some credit when he said this, when he was honest. He said that he truly believed Devin Haney would be his toughest fight. If Ryan Garcia feels that way, by Tio Fimo's actions, Tio must feel the same way. That's the reason why right after uh, Tio beat Lomachenko, Tio Sr. was asked at the press conference, if there's one big, big fight for you guys, Let's say it's the biggest pay-per-view fight. Who would it be? And you know who he said? It would be Devin Haney. Now, once again, he was saying like, because the, the question, the way he asked the question, it was like in a year or so from now, who would it be? If you envision yourself fighting the biggest fight in the biggest pay-per-view fight, he said it would be Devin Haney. I always tell you guys, the truth comes out. The truth will always come to light. You see fans saying all kind of stuff in the comment section, but it's always the professional boxers that come out, tell the truth, and end up corroborating everything you guys hear me say. Mike Tyson won at this fight. Told Tio to his face, that needs to be next. Josh Taylor, a guy that Tio wants to fight, he even said, man, there's too many good fights at, one, at 135. You need to fight those guys first before we fight. This is what Josh Taylor said. Ryan Garcia even said that he wants to see T.O. fight Devin Haney and he'll fight the winner. Now, I know you guys are already saying, well, Ryan Garcia, he's in the same boat as T.O. And that is true. But my point is you have many fighters coming out and telling T.O. Fimo he needs to be fighting the best fighters in his division. He needs to be fighting the type of opponents that fans want to see him go up against. When he says, I don't care what people think. All right, I'm gonna throw a duck on my head. Y'all calling me a duck? Okay, well, I'm gonna be a duck. Him doing that, he's telling you guys, I'm gonna fight the guys that I feel are safe. I'm not gonna risk losing just to please the fans. This is what T.O. is telling his fans right now. Now, I will say this though, when it comes to risk. There is still a risk when he gets in there with George Cambosis. I don't think that this is going to be a super easy fight. I don't think this fight is going to be as easy as uh, Lopez expects it to be. And we've seen so many cherry picks go wrong. We've seen it happen so many times where people thought they was taking an easy fight. And then they end up either losing to the cherry pick or they end up struggling against him. It happened with Danny Garcia when he chose to fight Mauricio Herrera. It happened to Abner Mares when he chose to fight Johnny Gonzalez. He was avoiding Gary Russell Jr. He was avoiding Guillermo Rigo. Thought he would have an easy fight against Johnny Gonzalez because Johnny at the time was coming off of losses. It looked like he was on a decline. All of a sudden, he knocks out Abner Mares. We've seen so many cherry picks go wrong. And that's what makes, or that's the only thing that makes the Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosis fight intriguing. It's crazy how things play out because weeks ago, Devin Haney, he had put this image up on his Instagram where he has uh, Teofimo photoshopped with a duck face. And you fast forward to present day and here Teofimo is dancing around with a duck on his head to respond to the backlash that he's receiving by the boxing fans. Let's see how the Cambosis fight plays out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. Make sure you go ahead and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.